trim tool. I'm gonna go ahead and get behind here and pop this cover off. I'm gonna release this metal clip from the notch inside the door. We're gonna go on the inside of our door handle here. There's a little panel. On the top of that panel, there's a tiny little notch. We're gonna use our pick. We're just gonna get our pick in there and pop that panel off, set that aside. There are two Phillips head screws here. Use our screwdriver, go ahead and remove those two screws. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the handle and pull this out. On the left hand side, there's gonna be the actuator rod with a plastic clip. We're gonna use our needle nose pliers and we're just going to remove that clip. I'm gonna pinch it and pop that back like that. And off of the rod. And use your needle, needle nose pliers, pull the rod up. On the other side, we have the switch. You can use our pick or you can use your finger. I'm going to press down on this tab right here to pop that off. When you remove this trim piece right here, you can use your pry tool, get in there. Pry this out. Pop this piece right off. I'm going to remove the two inner Phillips head screws. There's one right here. There's one right up front here. On the bottom side of your power window switch right here, there's a harness and a connector. We're gonna press in on this little tab right here and pull the connector down and out. You're gonna start by putting your fingers right behind here and gently pulling towards you. You can use your trim tool, get behind the edge of the door working your way around. I'm just gonna pop off the plastic buttons that are supporting the door panel. Let's go ahead and raise our door panel. ahead and separate your door panel from the vehicle and set it aside. Now when you remove your door panel you may see a water shield like this here. Ours was hanging off so you want to go ahead and remove it from if you still have an adhesive remove it from the adhesive. Pull your harness through and go ahead and set that aside. At this point here I want to go ahead and feed our power window harness through. I'm going to line this up and we're going to reconnect it. Line it up and push it into place. I'm gonna use a bungee cord 
to go around the door panel itself. I'm going to use this to support the panel. With the key in the on position, we're going to go ahead and raise our glass up. And then we'll go ahead and shut the key off. Remove the door panel once you put your window all the way up. Now we're going to use a long pair of needle nose pliers and we want to disconnect this metal rod from the lock cylinder. So we're just going to get on the edge and push that clip up, undo that. And we're going to use our needle nose pliers and just pull that rod out like so. Now this rod right here is the actual door handle release rod and there's a clip at the top. We're going to use our pick to go ahead and get behind that. I want to go ahead and pull this clip up and off. Once that's free, go ahead and grab that rod and pull it out towards you. Using a 10 millimeter socket and extension, I'm going to go into the left side here. And remove that nut. And then go to the right side over here. And remove that one. In order to release that door handle from the door shell itself, we have to disconnect our lock cylinder uh, from that unit. Here is the lock cylinder from the inside of the door, right where my bent pick is. In order to release that, we need to go behind here where the pick is now and release uh, the little spring-loaded clip. There's two little tabs. We want to go ahead and put our finger back there and move those tabs to unlock it. Once those are opened up, we should be able to go ahead and pull out our lock cylinder. Now I'm going to use a small pick right here, a little angled pick. And I reach around to the back and there is the clip right here that we'll be pushing down on. You can always put this pick inside of that and going to pull down. This is going to release our door lock cylinder. have that clip out. Let's go ahead and work our lock cylinder out. As you work that lock cylinder out, there you have it. We install the lock cylinder. There are two ramps and a notch, ramp and a notch. When we push this in, that little spring clip that is on the door handle will actually slide up these ramps and lock into place holding the cylinder onto the door handle. We're going to apply a light coat of grease to this side of in this side of the lock cylinder so it'll slide in easier. Go ahead and line up your lock cylinder and work that into place. Install the rod for the lock cylinder.
Might be able to use your pick for assistance to reach around and get that pushed in. Once the rod is seated in there, we'll go ahead and spin that lock down. And we'll snap that clip into place. Go ahead and get the upper rod installed here for the handle. I'm gonna feed the rod up into the back side of the handle. Bring our retaining clip down and just snap that on with your finger. We wanna go ahead and reinstall our water shield. Don't forget to pull your harnesses through that you'll have to reconnect after. Our factory adhesive is long gone. So at this point here, we're just gonna use some tape Doesn't have to be fancy, I'm just holding this up and in place. We're going to feed our harnesses through our door panel. We can actually connect our window switch right now. I'm going to pull our power door lock connector right through here. Let's go ahead and line up our door lock over here. Get the upper part of the door sill lined up. And work this down into place. Once the upper sill is in place and you have your power connector here, just gonna work away around the perimeter getting our buttons locked in. I'm gonna install our lower Phillips head screws into our door panel here. Not gonna snug that one down yet. We're gonna take the other one, get that one started. Get them both installed. Let's go ahead and tighten those down. Let's take our trim piece. I'm gonna line this up, insert the back portion, bring this around. Pop that into place. I'm going to take your door handle, take the rod, put that down inside the handle. I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to go ahead and install the clip. Pop that into place. Put that in place. Take your electrical connector for your power door lock switch. Line that up. Snap that into place. I'm going to install the back side of the handle. There's a tab right here. Put that in. Work 
our door handle into place here. Line up the handle. And get this screw started. Get the other screw started and then we'll snug them both down. here there's two little buttons on the bottom and one on the top install the bottom first and then just press on the top now you want to go ahead and grab your cover here ah. peel it off and you're all set and go ahead and install our mirror cover we have a little button on the top a little lock tab here and our retainer Slide this down into place. And there we have it. 